Here we're using boxes of sand to make female moulds which we're going to fill with expanding foam to create boat hulls. The smaller Sea Rider comes first and then the more complex shaped Graupner Silver Spirit. Chris has taken the boat out of the box and he's just using a block of wood to firm up a few edges and sharpen up a few lines so we get nice crisp well-defined shapes. Okay, I've started to dismantle the shuttering and in a moment I'm going to see if I can pull the thing out intact. So there we have it that's actually come out very very well. Lovely crisp clean lines. That's a good result. Once we wash it off we should have a nice shaped boat there. But this was the simpler shape and the easier one to do. It'll be interesting to see how this, the Graupner Silver Spirit, comes out. That's not too bad either. It looks as though the gas pressure from the foam has built up and distorted it a little but it's perfectly usable you could fix that and use it one problem with this foam however is that the boats come out quite wobbly quite floppy if you were going to do this and use the, the hull you'd want to probably put some sort of carbon fiber or maybe aluminium rod in the mold just to make it longitudinally stiffer than it is However, the next day, this is cheap expanding foam. Already the boat has started to distort. This is the Sea Rider, the first one. And in fact, it's become unusable overnight. So although this was a worthwhile experiment, you couldn't call this a success. I'm glad we did it, though. Perhaps with more expensive foam, better quality foam, it might have worked. Yesterday evening I brushed PVA over the entire hull, then laid sheets of wet newspaper over it, then I brushed PVA over the top again. It seems to have gone off quite smooth and certainly very rigid. I've just glued on the foredeck, which is made from an old pizza box, while an Oreo cookies box, which is thinner and more flexible, forms the afterdeck. And now the whole thing is covered in paper. So I'm just using this acrylic filler on the areas where the paper didn't cover. So now I can paint the entire hull with a thick coat of a white polyurethane gloss. the hull's dry, it's time to apply a coat of black to the underside. Which of course involves saying goodbye forever to Chloe, 23, from Leeds.
with the hull painted, I can put some detail on the decks. I made a simple companionway and an instrument binnacle for the back of the cabin.